What's going down, it's Max from Maxwell Sports here, bringing you the second episode of my Carolina Panthers owner mode. And uh, the first episode was just a little introduction, giving you a little history, a little backstory to the team. Thought that I just enjoy doing that to the beginning of a series, and thought you might like it too. And sorry it was kind of short, and I was going to try to get this video up sooner, but due to some technical difficulties, it was not very easy. And right now I'm showing you my roster. Um, instead of showing you every trade and every free agent pickup, I just feel like it'd be less time consuming. And uh, I will also be starting right into week one against the Seattle Seahawks. So again, it's not as time consuming. And uh, you can just be able to get right into the things. And some, uh, just uh, off the top of my head, some big free agent pickups were Brandon Lloyd, the wide receiver. He's going to be a big part of this team in this season and uh carry Rhodes, the free safety just an absolute beast this year probably one of our better defensemen uh steve smith obviously was not a um, free agent pickup but someone who has been on this team for a while and i feel like can really like really just one of the better players on this team that i'd like to build around but he will be a free agent next year and i don't know if we're going to be able to pick him up as well as Cam Newton is also a beast of a player, and Luke Keekley are probably our best players, I think, on this team. And uh, I wanted to make some big moves, and I traded, I believe, D'Angelo Williams and Stewart, both running backs, to get Robert Turbin, which was really stupid. And I did um, did other things, did other trades to get different people. I didn't just trade those two for him. Um, I think it was like Stewart for Trubin or something. But I wanted to get someone who I thought was underrated. In real life, he seemed pretty good, but in the game, he just sucks. So uh, I'm going to be trying to get Denard Robinson. And I, I end up getting Denard Robinson real soon. And the next game or two, I believe. And um, he is, I believe, overrated in this game. He's just an absolute beast. And in real life, he's hardly known. The biggest thing he's probably known for is being a quarterback in college. But anyways, and um, we'll be getting him soon. And I kind of wish I wouldn't have traded our running backs. I feel like they were better than what I got out of them. But I also got Fred Jackson after I kind of thought that he was also underrated. And he was second string behind C.J. Spiller. C.J. Spiller's a beast, but Fred Jackson used to play a lot more and he was pretty good too and uh, before anyone asks uh, I am recording at this time with an HD dazzle so it's not that good I'm sorry for maybe poor quality but I have an Elgato now and I think after a few episodes you'll notice the difference and this was also Xbox 360 but um I will soon transfer over to Xbox One uh, at the same time that I did get my Elgato. And my goal pretty much for this year with this team is to go 500. So uh, our record would be 8-8. Eight and eight. And we'll see if that will be good enough for the playoffs. And I'm hoping to do two seasons with this since I uh, kind of started late. And I actually started recording from November. But... Uh, didn't end up actually uploading until now so I apologize for that but yeah the Panthers in real life did pretty good and which was kind of a disappointment to me even though I like them it was just I chose this team because I didn't think they were going to be as well and they definitely proved me wrong as well as I think some other people they were not expected to do that well and um I, since I'm not partnered, I cannot make custom thumbnails, so I apologize that there's, like, no cool thumbnail. I actually make thumbnails, but, like, for my series, but I cannot use them, so that's what you saw in the first one. I just do it for fun, because I enjoy making them, and, yeah, that's what you saw the whole first episode, uh, the introduction, and I would like to do introductions for every one of my series, especially franchise modes or you know like where you're where you are the like owner or gm 
or manager that's the same thing <laughs> but you know what I mean and um I always want to progress and get better and I feel like that will happen with all my videos I'll get more comfortable behind the mic and um uh, I'll get better quality with everything as it goes on and my gameplay will even get better like how I play not just the not just the the actual graphics and stuff since I will change to Xbox One and a better capture card but I always want to get better so even if you think these aren't great uh, I apologize but I hope that they will I know that they will get better in the future and um next episode I will it will uh, be two games instead of one and I will um, be pretty much giving a channel update and won't be talking as much gameplay even though as you've seen so far I haven't talked about the gameplay yet um, but that's probably what these series this series will be mostly the topic the topic will mostly be gameplay excuse me but um next episode I will be just telling you all my series ideas my plans for my channel everything really and like the time period I hope to get them out by the series that is the episodes everything and I will also be talking about all the NFL like the big trades and free agent pickups all the moves you know uh, in this off season so far and uh, that will all be next episode and also I'd like to try to keep my videos under 15 minutes but you'll see as I go on that I end up getting them under 10 minutes and I feel like that's what I'm gonna do eventually but my first few episodes are very I would say very long so I'm sorry if they end up boring you or just all in all feel that they should be shorter but however next episode will be very long since it is a channel update and I wanted to have enough time or make sure I had enough time to go over everything so I put two two games together to make one episode and I believe it is a few minutes under 30 minutes so I apologize if that also may seem very long but I would just appreciate if you just, just listen to it and um, just really pay attention and give me some good feedback and it'll help you if you feel like this might be a channel that you enjoy watching videos and stuff by me so it would be a good idea to just listen that episode even if you don't like football or anything and I would uh, very much appreciate that. Anyway, back to Madden. So pretty much, I will play one game and simulate the next game throughout this whole season. And that way I can finish the season faster and get more videos out. Well, actually, it'd be less videos, but I would be able to get them out faster. So I wouldn't be playing as much and editing as much. And, um... Like I said earlier, I plan on doing two seasons with this. I might only do one, but that would only be if I win the Super Bowl in my first season, which is very unlikely, but you never know. It could happen. And um, if I do have a season two, I would, I think just so I can finish it even faster, I would only play four games in the regular season instead of eight. So I'd either play my first game and then simulate four or play my fourth game, or uh, sorry, simulate three, then play my fourth game. Fourth game. <laughs> sorry, I just cannot talk right now, and just play like every four games, you know, something like that to get the series moving along. Also, if you were wondering, I am a 12-year-old boy. Obviously, I uh, just got out of sixth grade, and getting ready for seventh grade. I'm in summer, at summer vacation right now, or not in or at summer vacation, I am in the middle of summer vacation currently, and my name is Max, which is how I forgot the name Maximum Sports, since this channel is going to be all sports gaming, and I just don't know. I just thought Maximum was pretty cool. And 
sports is what it's going to be about. So Maximum Sports just came to me one day, and I thought it sounds pretty cool. Anyways, that's pretty much my life story. And uh, let's get into some gameplay here. As you can see, we are facing off against the Seattle Seahawks, the defending Super Bowl champions, in real life at least. We'll see if they can do it in this game. And we are down 10-3 at the moment. And it's a very injured Seattle Seahawks team, which could help us a lot. But I don't know, looking kind of shaky right now. But I believe they have at least the big name players. Golden Tate injured, and I think it was Marshawn Lynch maybe. I don't know, but I feel like in Madden 25, this happens way too much. There's way too many injuries, and like that aren't even realistic. And I'm just kind of glad that at least the team that you play as don't get injured as much. But Peyton Hillis is just running all over this Panthers defense, at least this game. And he was on the cover of Madden 11, I think it was, or maybe Madden 12. Um. But ever since then, no one even really heard of him. He was on the Browns. He had a really good season. And it was just like a one-hit wonder, I guess. He had one good year. And after that, everything just kind of went downhill for him. downhill is so oh, not funny. Um, but, yeah, you can see right there they score a touchdown. And we are going to get the ball back. It's fourth and three on our own 28-yard line, is it? I think so. And um, sorry if I seems like I'm blind or something and I'm just talking and it's hard to tell what's going on in the gameplay but it's a lot smaller of a screen than Sony Vegas and um, obviously I was using an HD Dazzle at the time I'll, I'll admit it's not the best it's all right but I mean it definitely could do a lot better and it's kind of hard to see what's going on but uh, if you haven't guessed I enjoy running the ball I feel like it's much more conservative at least for me I'm a lot better at it because I suck at throwing. And I'm playing at all pro difficulty because I suck, and that's why I don't throw it right there. Throwing interceptions, which pretty much seems like it would seal things up for the Seattle Seahawks, as here they are taking their last knee of the game. So we lose 17-3. to so They probably could have easily scored a touchdown right there on like the four-yard line, but showing good sportsmanship with their snazzy jerseys. Definitely the coolest in the league, which is kind of random, but yeah, I went with the blue jerseys today just because I'm cool like that, and uh, that was pretty much it. Not the best game. See the stats right there. Um, yeah, I am nowhere near the best Madden player, if anything, probably closer to being one of the worst, but I don't know. Uh, Madden's always been one of my favorite games. Loved it because I love football. And um, the Panthers have gotten off to a rough start. And um, like I was saying earlier, we're just going to keep progressing and getting better as the season goes on. I become a better player. And uh, the simulation is usually pretty good to me um, because we have a pretty decent team. But, uh, yeah, we start off this season very rough. Not only this game, but you'll see in future episodes that I really struggle against certain teams and like players and stuff that I just can't get much done. And I apologize for that also, but you know, we're just going to push through it. We're going to keep getting better. You will see that we have some really good games, but we also have some pretty bad games. And you can see some of our games are like really stand out, and there's like some really great like players that just really stand out and give everything and just have an overall great game. And uh, I forgot to say it earlier, but Brandon Banks, super fast, also another free agent we picked up. And uh, he's so he's an absolute beast, obviously. Honestly, my bad, sorry. Uh, but I know I say that a lot about our people we picked up, but I just tried to find some pretty good people. And he was just, like, if you're starting a owner mode for yourself, you're going to want to pick that guy up. He's super fast. He's great for kick returns. That's all I use him for. And you can see that we did simulate and we won. And, uh... 
we defeated the Buffalo Bills. Now we'll see you next time in the next episode of the Carolina Panthers Owner Mode where we face off against the New York Giants. And I'm going, going, gone. See ya.